What's up, you guys? Welcome to my channel and welcome to another video of Miguel Latino. As you probably saw on the channel, I'm in Mexico. Today we're gonna talk about what it's like to live in Cancun. Um, if you're new to the channel, thank you. Thank you for coming and tuning in into my channel. If you're one of my subscribers who's been loyal to me, thank you. I appreciate you too for showing love. A lot of people wonder what it's like to live in Cancun, right? Well, it's beautiful. I had never been to Cancun and I was just waiting for something to happen or for something to bring me here, right? Um, it's gonna be my dad's birthday. I've always wanted to give him something. He's always given me a lot and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna take him to Cancun. So I booked an Airbnb, rented a car, and here we are. The first thing to know about Cancun, Cancun is hot. It's humid hot, but it's dope because unlike the US, unlike Sacramento, the weather that we get back home, it's a different vibe here. And look at those skies though. That. I love Mexico because look at Mexico skies. They're unique. We got the beach over there and there's a lot of more hotels going on down there. We got the tennis court right here and the golf course somewhere over there. But you know, Mexico, I've always loved Mexico because of the skies. The skies out here are crazy and so dope, you know? Nothing like the US. So if you've never been to Mexico, if you've always wondered what it would look like to go to Mexico. Well, Mexico, it's dope. I was born in the US, grew up in Mexico and other countries, but you know what? I love Mexico. Mexico is like my, my mother country, you know? Mexico is like the place where I see myself getting old and living at, you know what I mean? So, so I decided to do this so that I could kind of have an idea of what it would be like to live out here. We're gonna be staying here for a couple of days. Well, actually, we've been here for already a week. We're gonna go ahead and do some activities. As in right now, we're probably gonna go and golf down there. I'm gonna show my cousin how to golf. After that, we're probably gonna go kayaking with my dad. I'm gonna take him kayaking. I don't think he's ever done that thing, but I'm gonna make him have the time of his life. He's so relaxed. Those of you who follow me on IG, you guys seen how relaxed my dad looks. Well, it was all about that. Coming out here, relax, and show you guys a little bit of what it's like to live in Cancun. I love it. I'm loving it so far. You guys can probably see my tan already. Can you? Can you guys see my tan? I'm pretty tanned already. <laughs> but um, yeah, guys, so we're gonna do a couple things throughout the week. I'm so amazed by how green everything is here. You see monkeys crossing the streets. You see a lot of animals that they take care of here. I think it's a pretty cool thing. I never thought Can Cancun was gonna be this cool or Quintana Roo, I should say, because it's a whole state. I'm not even in Cancun. I'm in Playa del Carmen, which is nearby Cancun. I didn't want to go to Cancun because, um, because of this whole thing going on, you know? They're open up to 30%. As in right now, they're not full capa capacity because of this whole coronavirus thing. They're opening up until like certain percentage of the capacity. So public beaches are not open. They're only open for the people that are staying at the hotels. Hotels are open 30%. Uh, but you know what? Nothing like getting your own little place where you could actually cook, do other things. I got the beach right here. There's a beach club down there. Like, guys, this is something that I never thought I would do. And I was like, you know what? Let's go. If you're scared of traveling, if you're scared of something, if you're afraid of anything, guys, you guys got to get rid of those fears because fear can mess you up. So I was like, you know what? Let me get this fear out of me, protect myself. I'm going to take the right precautions and I'm going to travel. And here I am giving my dad the time of his life. And it's good because my dad has been sick. So I was like, you know what? Family is something that you guys gotta appreciate. We gotta love our family because they're not always gonna be there. So if you are one of those who don't show love to your family, I recommend you to start that now. What else? What else should I tell you guys? We in the search of another beach. <clears throat> I mean, pool. <laughs> <laughs> so dope, huh? You can walk around, nobody near you. Look, everybody got their little space. And you don't really see people. It's actually pretty cool. Not a lot of people are coming out. Not a lot of people are here. Actually, no one at all. I thought I was going to see people here, but... Oh. Nobody around. But yeah, guys, like I was telling you, living in Cancun, it's a whole different lifestyle. It's more expensive. Well, I mean, if you got a good job, you're a hustler, you got things, you know, that are working out for you, you might be able to afford this lifestyle. But this lifestyle, it's not a cheap lifestyle. <sighs> Honestly, all you ever want to do is just come and relax, enjoy, have a good time. Just get yourself a little Airbnb near the water. If you want to know how much I pay for this whole trip, DM me. Send me a DM. You might be wondering why I'm talking and blogging this in English but um, a lot of people that um, follow me don't speak Spanish and a lot of you guys do speak Spanish and English so let's get in the water now
the water here is so dope. It's warm and it's not cold and uh, it feels good. Best part about this place, look, nobody. Nobody around me on this beautiful day. If you enjoyed this video, if you liked this video, if you didn't like this video, comment down below. Like the video or dislike the video. Do whatever you want, but do something. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Stay tuned. I'm in Mexico. I'll be blogging a little bit about everything that I do. I got work to do too, but I'll try to show you guys a little bit. Whew. All right, guys. So it changed. We went and did kayaking for a minute. <laughs> it was fun. I'm going to leave you guys a couple clips somewhere around here. Took my dad and my cousin out there. It was fun. <laughs> it was fun. Thank you for watching. Today, I realized a lot of things, right? But one of the main ones was don't wait for bad things to happen for you to tell your loved ones or show them that you love them. It, it could be as little as just doing an activity with them, doing something that you don't normally do with them. Me, today, this weekend, this past few days, I've been spending time with my dad. Me and him, we've never really spent time before like this and we're really having time of our lives right now so i highly recommend you don't be don't be like me before and um show love to your loved ones don't wait for something bad to happen because we gotta take advantage of these moments right now we got the people that we love and everything tomorrow who knows let's enjoy life and thank you for watching see you guys in the next video